This screencast will illustrate how to open a chat file to play back the linked video. I'll use a transcript and video from a participant in the aphasia bank corpus with very mild aphasia. The chat file and the video file are in this transcription folder on my desktop. So I'll double click on the folder and then double click on the chat file to open it in clan. I'll close this. And I'll place my cursor on line 7 and start the continuous playback where each line is highlighted as it plays. To do this, I'll type Escape 8. I press the Escape key, release it, and then type the number 8 key. Kind of the story of the picture. And then I'm going to have you go first this time, okay? okay. All right, so here's the picture. Um, this is a mom, a real old. I mean, this is a very old picture. It is. That's for sure. Now to stop the playback, I just clicked in the transcript window. Now I'll place my cursor on line 34. And I'll use command click to play just this utterance. I press the command key and hold it down while I left click the mouse. Now for Windows users, it's control click instead of command click. Um, and she's cleaning. Now let's take a look at the time values in the video window. This top number indicates the time in milliseconds and it changes as you play the video. The bottom two numbers control the beginning and end of the current segment, which can be played again using the repeat button. Um, and she's cleaning. Now, back in the transcript window, you can see these begin and end time values at the end of each utterance if we type Escape A to open the little black bullets that hide the numbers to avoid distraction. So again, I press the Escape key, release it, and type A. Now we see the timestamps for each utterance in milliseconds. To hide these numbers, just type Escape A again.